All positions uh, polling in the affirmative. Uh, we are go for depress and go for EVA. We're head to toe in the airlock, so the lead spacewalker, we call it EV-1, uh, goes out first. And the hatch opens toward the Earth, and then right after that person goes out, then EV-2, which was me on my first spacewalk, then comes out feet first, and you sort of hang on a circular handrail that's outside of the airlock, and you're hanging there several hundred miles above the Earth. And that's, your, that's sort of the first step. And uh, so I thought, I remember when the hatch opened that first time for me, Scott Parazinski was my lead spacewalker, and the sunlight came in and he said, oh my, wait till you see this. We're right over the Himalayas. When I close my eyes, I can see it now. Um, it's just this glowing, raging, expanding, explosion of color in like just hanging there in a vast sea of darkness and the most frightening darkness that you could ever imagine and I could immediately feel my heart <laughs> in my throat and uh, my heart rate went up I'm sure I started sweating and um, and I had prepared these words uh, that I was going to say when I would go outside like something profound you know and I looked at the earth and I was completely speechless. Visually, just absolutely breathtaking. Do I miss being on spacewalks? Absolutely. Just about every day of my life, there's n nothing uh, more profound that I've done in my life than open that hatch and go outside and look through this fishbowl visor knowing that just on the other side of that thin visor is like instant death.